Take another look at Willie Moscone. From, this is a video from 1941. And let's see what he can do with this pool trick. He knows where he wants the ball to go, but one of the rules of billiards is that the cue ball cannot follow the striped or solid ball into the hole. So Willie wants to put this close ball into this close hole using the cue ball that's down at that corner. So he creates a path that puts the cue ball right next to the ball he wants to go into the hole. And take a look at the parallel lines they just showed you as they traced. And here he goes, he's going to hit the cue ball on the path that he planned. So how did he accurately adjust for the trajectory of that ball? Not accounting for spin, he's aware that the ball is going to enter the bank of the table at the same angle it's going to leave the bank of the table. So just like the problem you had with the mirror on the floor, when two people of different heights had to stand at different distances away from the mirror in order for the angle to reach their eye without bending. In this trick, I think this is Jimmy Carrara. In this trick, he's going to jump a ball from one table to the next, starting with a cue ball, hitting a solid ball, to send a striped ball into a pocket on another table. So he's throwing a little physics into the action. That's not what we're going to do in our angles on a pool table problem, but let's take a look at whether he can be successful. There it is. So angles are an important consideration when you're planning for a trick like this. So here's the pool table that we have from problem 6.2.1. So go to the handout for 6.2.1 and read over it again. You'll see that Montana Mike wants to make a double bank shot in a trick shot competition. He has a ball somewhere here. And he's going to send it somewhere along this wall. He knows that it strikes the third diamond at the bank. And he wants to send the ball into this corner pocket. So with no spin on the ball, there's a couple of things we can determine about the path that the ball takes. And one of those is that the angle the ball strikes the bank at is the same angle that the ball leaves the bank at. And we know that the corners of the table are right angles. So the angle that the ball strikes this side at is the same as the angle that the ball leaves this bank at, though it's not necessarily the same as the previous angle. So I'm not going to mark them the same until I know if they are or are not the same. I know they're the same as each other. But I can't say that the two pairs are really four congruent angles. I can say, though, that I have a right angle and a purple angle. And I have a right angle and a purple angle. So I can say that this triangle that I'm striping yellow is similar to this triangle that I'm striping yellow. And I know that this green striped triangle has a right angle and a yellow angle. And I know that this triangle has a right angle and a yellow angle. So this green striped triangle is similar to a triangle that's similar to the yellow triangle. So I can say that they're all three similar to each other. Now that the one thing that the player gets to do is move the cue ball.
So he can put this ball here, he can put it here, he can put it anywhere he wants to put it. We're going to help him decide exactly where to put it based on what we know about the measurements here. So this distance here is exactly three triangles long. So 3 times 12.5, we've got a 37 and a half inch distance here, which makes this one, oops, which makes this distance here 100 minus 37 and a half, or 62.5 inches long. We know that this side is 50 inches. That's handy to know because at this point we could use that information to find the long side. We could use that information to find the angle measures. So let's go ahead and consider the largest triangle here. It has a right angle. It has a side of 62.5 and it has a side of 50. If this were theta, we can use the inverse tangent with the ratio of 50 over 62.5 to find theta. So go ahead and push those buttons for me and get me a value for theta. We're pushing the second button followed by the tangent button and we're entering the ratio 50 divided by 62.5 and we have an angle of 38.66 degrees approximately 38.66 degrees which makes this other angle 90 minus 38.66 or 51.34 degrees and we can make our way around the table entering angle measures simply by using the fact that the sum of any Three triangles of a triangle, three angles of a triangle has to be 180 degrees. So we know that the angle that Montana, Montana Mike, is trying to shoot at is 38.66 degrees. So let's make note of that. Montana Mike needs to replicate an angle of 38.66 degrees when he shoots from the top rail. Where does he put the ball then? Exactly what distance is that? Well, here we have a situation just like the one where you used the mirror. And we can use similar triangles to find out. So all three of these triangles, number one, number two and number three are similar. We have information from this triangle here. We have a 50 inch side, a 62.5 inch side, only here is our 38.66 degree angle and here is our 51.34 degree angle. So let's orient this triangle here because really what we want is this distance, don't we? From here to here we want to know where to put the ball. So let's orient a new smaller triangle in terms of the right angles and we'll put the 51.34 degrees here 
and 38.66 degrees here. So the side from the right angle to the 38.66 degree angle is the one we want. Now based on the drawing, we don't have any information from that small triangle, so we're going to have to use the middle triangle first. Thirty-eight point six six, because we know that that one has a distance from the thirty-eight degree angle to the right angle of thirty-seven point five inches. Let's make this one unknown y. And let's mark the variables here. We've got a y distance from here to here. And we have an x distance from here to here. So if all three of these triangles are similar, we can use the ratio 62.5 to 37.5 to find any of the unknowns. So here's my scale factor. And that'll take me from this triangle to this triangle so that I can find y. 62.5 is to 37.50 as 50 is to y. 62.5y equals, push the buttons for me for 37.5 times 50, 1875. Divide both sides by 62.5, and we have a y distance of 30 inches. So let's replace y with 30. Oops, let's undo that. I need that side. y is 30, which makes this distance 20 because we know we have a 50 inch side. So the distance from the 51.34 angle to the right angle is 20. And that gives us enough information to go for x. 50 is to 20 as 62.5 is to x. Takes us from this triangle now to this triangle. Or 5 over 2 We'll make this a little easier to solve. 5x equals 62.5 times 2, or 125. x equals 25 inches. So Montana Mike is going to place his ball 25 inches from the edge of the pool table. So why don't you start by seeing if you can solve this problem. It's 6-4-1. Without the support of the video now, can you draw the picture? Can you create the three similar triangles? Does it bring back any memories about working with similar triangles? And how far can you get on this problem? So start there.